Welcome back to my small boat building project. Today I'm going to be showing some footage of shaping the keel so that it's ready to receive the planking and also getting the planks ready to go on the boat, which means laminating together two halves. And it's not particularly uh, challenging or technical, but it is a long process to go through. So um, you can take a look at what that might be like if you were going to do it yourself. Uh, that's sort of the whole point of these videos is to give you a sense of what it would be like to build a boat like this. Hopefully it's an accurate picture. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so it's a learning experience, but so far it's going pretty smoothly. And um, I'm just hoping that it would be beneficial to you to see kind of the reality of what this kind of project would be like. Um, so today's video is more of a meditation and just kind of like planing down the, the keel and laminating some boards together and see what that whole business is all about. <laughs> Here we're laying out the taped together garboard plank up against the keel just to make sure everything looks good before we start beveling. Here. First I cleaned up the joint between the keel and the stem using the plane and then worked my way back along each side of the keel and there's not really much to it other than keeping your plane sharp and trying to keep the bevel correct and enjoying the process, taking your time. Beveling the keel is important because there's a little bit of extra wood there that needs to be removed so that when the planks are laid out on top of the framing mold, they'll lie up nicely along the keel. Thanks to the miracle of time-lapse video, the few hours that we spent beveling off the forward section of the keel here can be presented in just a few minutes. I was really concerned about taking off too much wood or not doing this right, even though it's a pretty straightforward process, so I found it reassuring to occasionally just check and make sure everything looked like it was going to work, just by holding up a plank and seeing if it all lined up. Rob had really good success working with the spoke shave for this process. I found I was more comfortable with the block plane because I kept worrying about smacking my knuckles up against the plywood mold sections with the spoke shave.
you can see here that we have clamps holding the keel nice and snug down to the mold frame just while I was beveling out the keel and even though the stem and the transom are glued and securely held in place the keel would lift up a little bit if we didn't do that so I'm just kind of dodging around the clamps and removing them one by one as needed But once the beveling was all done, we need to remove the clamps, obviously, so we could start attaching the planks. Here Rob's carefully cleaning up all the rough edges along the planks that were left by the CNC router with a bit of sandpaper and he's just doing that so that when we go to glue these things together they'll go together easier and also we won't get quite as many splinters when we're working with them later. Here we're sorting all the planks so that they'll be paired correctly with the fore and aft sections and also in the correct orientation so that when we go to glue them together everything will go smoothly. For gluing, we coated each joint with unthickened epoxy and then a coat of thickened epoxy and clamped them together securely. Here you can see Rob cleaning up the seams after the epoxy is completely dry just to make sure everything's smooth and ready to go onto the boat. Because the Okume marine plywood is a little bit porous, it's really important to impregnate it with another coat of unthickened epoxy before starting the planking. Well, thanks for joining me for that, and um, in the next sequence of videos, I'll continue the project, and I look forward to seeing you then. Take care. Bye.